Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I wanted to hop on here and do a quick little video over this bag right here, which is the Coach Courier Carryall in the 23 size, so the smaller model from the original one. And I thought this review might be helpful for some of you guys that are still like thinking about this bag or just like curious about it. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the details, show you what fits in here, and some quick size comparisons between um, this little one and the larger model as well. And then just what my final thoughts are at the end too. So if you're interested in this review, do stay tuned. Also, if you guys like these kind of videos, um, do consider liking, subscribing, because all I do on my channel is just talk about handbags and stuff. So if you like handbags and stuff, um, consider liking, subscribing. Thanks! Finally, just for full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as an essay. However, all the bags are for my own personal collection, and um, I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags. So when it comes to like the exterior details of the little career carryall, um, you can see that the bag itself is pretty minimal. There's not like a ton of hardware on this bag. Um, on the front here, it does have like a flap style design, and to open and close the bag, all you have to do is just click. Um, the little lever right here on the front and then just push it in to close it. Um, the bag itself does have this really interesting additional um, kind of like piping but it's more of like a stacked leather look I think um, which you can see here it's like the additional piping of orange throughout the bag so it's on the flap and also on the front here so I think it gives it like a really cool um, touch of detail with a little bit of orange and then it's also underneath the handle as well. And then on the front here, you can see it's like color blocked too. So I believe the front flap here is in the color taupe. The orange color is in mango. And then the remaining body of the bag is in chalk. And here's like the 1941 tag. So it just has the horse and carriage um, logo on the front there. It's chalk as well on the front, and then in the back it'll be the mango color. And this is like the smaller size hang tag. And then on the back of the bag, you can see that it does have the continuation of that like orange piping detail going throughout the bag. And then it has a back slip pocket too. And this one's kind of cool um, because instead of like a magnetic pocket, it has a little press stud right here that you can use to close the bag itself. And on the inside, it is lined in a um, honey-colored microfiber. And that'll be like on um, the front and the back of the pocket as well. Comes to like the bottom of the bag, you can see that um, there is going to be this leather base right here that is attached to the bottom. And it does have four gunmetal hardware feet as well to keep the bag elevated and keeps like your bag clean. And then what's nice too is that there is that stamping of the genuine glove tan leather in the center. And it does have that a little like bit of orange detailing throughout the bag um, or on underneath the bag. So yeah, that's the bottom of the bag. And here's just a quick little side view of the bag as well. So the little wings here are going to go up into a like tapered shape. So it's um smaller at the top and wider at the bottom and just goes upward like that. And it'll be on the same um on the side as well. So I'm getting inside the bag. All you have to do is just click on these little latches right here. That lets you open the bag um, on the metal plaque here it just says coach underneath it and then you also um have a little metal piece here and underneath um the flap itself you can see that it is going to be lined in leather and then it does have a zipper closure in addition to the flap closure as well so when you open the bag with the zipper you can see that it is a very spacious interior compartment and it does have two organizational pockets too so on the back here, you can see that you do get a little zip pocket right there. And on the inside, it is lined in the 1941 like linen liner. And all I have in here is just like the price tag to the bag and the care instruction just um, tucked away. I'm going to put it back. Uh, okay. And then um, you can see that the story patch is also attached onto that back um, zip pocket as well. And then on the side of the bag, it does have a little slip pocket right here. And it also does feature a press stud as well that you can easily um, close if you want more security for this pocket. 
Um, but other than that, the bag itself is going to be a large open compartment and it does um, feature the linen, or not linen liner, sorry, um, the microfiber liner. And it is in that honey color for this color combo. Another thing I want to mention about this bag too is that it does like feature a 1941 stamp inside of this slip pocket. And for this one, it's going to be a little bit different because you can see that it does have like the cowhide stamp and also the cross stamp as well. Um, however, instead of saying 1941, it's going to say, I believe it's um, PF20. So it stands for Pre-Fall 2020. Um, instead of 1941. So there's that. Okay, so next is going to be the shoulder strap. And this is actually a fairly substantial shoulder strap for like how small this bag is. Um, it's also going to be like two toned as well. So it plays into that like color blocking effect. On the top of the bag here, it is in a brown saddle color. And then underneath, it's going to be in the color mango. It does just easily like, hook on to the bag via these little clips right here. And all you have to do is just hook it onto these rings right here, like so. And it does have adjustments as well. So for me, I'm just using currently the middle adjustment, um, but it does have five adjustments that are pretty um, spaciously spaced. And they are going to be covered in these metal grommets as well. Um, but yeah, that is the shoulder strap to the bag. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and put some items in here to show you guys everything I'm able to fit inside of this smaller courier bag. Okay, so first is going to be my um wallet. And I recently switched out of my like canvas um card case into this one instead. It is a little bit bigger, but I liked it because on the back here it has all your card slots. And I also like it because it does have this built-in zip feature as well. So I just have some cash in here. Um, but yeah, I really like it a lot. And the leather on this one has really softened a lot. Because I've had this for, I think, two years now. Um, and I also really like the little NASA um, embossing on it. Next is my little change pouch. And I um, switched out of the other one because it was getting like a little bit deformed. So I went ahead and changed into this one. And all I have in here is just some like extra cards and stuff and then also change as well. Um, but yeah, I like this one a lot. Next is going to be some like beauty slash health related items. So I have a little bottle of sunscreen. I have a small bottle of Germex to keep my hands clean and also a chapstick as well. Since it is getting a little cooler, um, my lips do get a tad crusty, so this helps a lot. Next is my catch-all, which is my Kate Spade nylon pouch. And I've talked about this item a lot in my handbag um, reviews and stuff, um, but all I have in here is just like alcohol wipes, uh, my phone charger, and a compact mirror, and some other miscellaneous items too. And I just like it because it is a really easy um, black nylon pouch. And if I'm rummaging around my bag, I can usually feel for it because it is like a very square boxy shape. Um, and it's just really cute too. So love that. Next are my keys and I just have them on this red wristlet strap here so I can easily find them in my bag. So finally the last SLG in my bag is going to be this little um, chambray denim like turn lock pouch. It's super cute um, and all I have in here is just my headphones all coiled up. Um, but sometimes I also do put my phone charging cable in here as well. So yeah, um, so that's that. And the last, last thing is going to be my phone. Um, I'm using my phone to film, so I'm playing around with my phone case. I have the iPhone XR, um, the normal size, and I just have a little pop socket on here too. So that's everything. And I'll show you guys what everything looks like in my bag. Okay, so, okay, so here's what everything looks like inside my bag. Um, as you can see, the bag itself opens pretty spaciously, so you're able to see, you know, everything at a single glance. And I just have most of my SLGs and some of my, like, care items standing up vertically, so they're just, like, on their side, like so. Um, and I think for me, that's just, you know, a lot easier to find them just because they are standing up. Um, I also just don't use the pockets inside of this bag just because I'm a pretty lazy person and I don't use pockets anyways. So I just have everything inside of the um, main central compartment. So I am able to completely zip the bag up as well. And as you can see, there's like no weird distortion um, at the top of the bag. And I'm also able to close the flap as well. 
and on the exterior of the bag you don't see any weird bulges and stuff um so yeah that is everything i'm able to fit inside of the courier carryall 23 and then i'm going to do a quick size comparison with um, the larger one next okay so here's a quick size comparison between the two courier carryalls um this is the one i got first which is the large navy navy version not navy um navy version and I have used this one a lot, so that's why I justified getting this one. Um, and as you can see, they are essentially the same bag. It's just that this one is a bit smaller. Um, and the other detail, too, is that, like I said, about that additional piping around the mini size. Um, here's what this one looks like up close. It does not have that additional piping throughout the bag, um, like the mini model. But I think there is... A mini model that does not have the piping so if you want a courier carol that's like one solid color they do have that and i think it's like black and taupe and another thing i want to mention too is that if you guys want a more like comprehensive review video about these two bags um just leave it down in the comments below and i can do a more in-depth um comparison between these two sizes if you're interested in that so yeah so when it comes to the Courier Carryall 23 is that I really do like this bag a lot. Um, this is probably one of my favorite summertime handbags just because the color combination is really pretty of the taupe brown um, mango orange and the chalk um, like trio. I thought it was actually really easy to work in with outfits and stuff. Um, I'm a pretty casual dresser so I usually just wear denim like oversized t-shirts or like a sweatshirt and shorts so I felt like this bag looked really good with the outfits I wore um but I also like don't really care what I look like sometimes so I just kind of throw clothes on um but I feel like this bag goes like went with a lot of stuff that I wore the other thing I really liked about this bag too is its overall structure um it's like soft but hard at the same time like as you can see the bag itself does give a little bit um and this like top section here however at the bottom it is pretty sturdy because it does have this extra like leather base so it gave the bag like a lot of support um and i really liked that for some reason like it's a bag that keeps its shape and i personally am somebody who loves a good structured handbag so being a mini bag um this bag had a lot of structure to it so i really appreciated that Okay, so that's it for today's video over the Coach Courier 23. Um, hopefully you guys like this video enough to like and subscribe. And if you have any additional questions about the bag, um, you can message me on Instagram or you can um, leave a comment down below this video too. And I can try to um, reply back as soon as possible. But hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye! Bye! Okay, I need to stop being weird.